bigger and they're on the outside, it's very heavy for her. They're going to they're going to sleep like this until supper time. Okay, kids, back in the car. Uh, very good job. All right, everybody. Everybody, look at this camera. Oh, that's it. Head back to the rug for me. Back to the rug. All right, everybody. Everybody, look at the camera and say snake food. Very good. Okay, now look at this camera and say reckless child endangerment. It'll get much bigger. Not too, too big, but bigger. Oh, you already touched. Oh, yeah, you, you reached up. But it's okay. You can touch twice because you have good touch. Look, and you have turtles on your shoe. Doing this. Good job. Good job. A lot of people say, oh, look, you brought a porcupine, a baby one. <laughs> African porcupine. Remember, if he comes up and licks you on the ear, and I hope your ears are clean, he's just saying hello. And she's starting to go through a little shed. Her skin's coming off in patches. Lizards almost always shed in patches. Like when you guys get a sunburn and you peel, a snake almost always sheds in one piece. They do this as they grow. Shh. Piggy, huh? Oh. Stuck it on me. Not good. One more. Piggy jump. Up. Oh, that was a better one. Yay! Piggy. Sasquatch is a Canadian lynx. They are a cousin to the bobcat. I'll try to turn his body around this way. Down. Okay. They are a cousin to the bobcat, but a lot different. It so you don't pick them up, but they're really pretty nice. Big yellow snake. She's really pretty, isn't she? She's got her tongue going, trying to figure out who you guys are. But he can turn his head 270 degrees. 360 is a circle. Sometimes they call that baiting. He sees the open room and he wants to fly. So I have to keep him right here so he doesn't fly onto any of you guys. Now his body is covered in this armor and that's part of his protection. And his tail is also covered in it. And he can use his tail as a weapon if he's only about four or five. He might have about ten more years left over. Okay? Unfortunately, we can't let you touch our scooter skunk today. But I do have one animal that you'll be able to touch today. It's a butterfly fish in the Sea of Cortez exhibit. And they've accurately recreated the art, artificially the coral that does live in the area. That's a porcupine fish. Can anybody tell me what that does? When he gets nervous. Just shout it out. Okay. What, what, do, what do they do? So she, hold on. Okay. Lots of time they're green. She couldn't do very well there. You know what? In the wild, an albino animal almost never survives. They always become prey for somebody else. This is the sea lion and seals exhibit tunnel. There, are, there is one large pool for the seals and sea lions, and this tunnel goes through the middle of it. So the seals and sea lions go, actually go underneath the floor here and go on one side or the other. Okay, let's come on over here. Isn't she a beauty? Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty silly, huh? He just wants to crawl all around. What does he feel like? Is he slimy? 
You think he's flying me? Is your hand wet or dry now? Where's the wetness? Show me the wetness. Where's it wet at? All over your hand. He doesn't look wet. You're going to buy his skin, his camouflage. Where do you think he lives? Morbid means that they start to go to sleep and their body slows down because they don't have the warmth to keep them moving. So they have to be warmed up before they can eat or move around. Uh, Kathy, hand me uh, red. Actually, let's give Donald uh, Humphrey. No, no, she, is. she is related to the reptiles. <gasps> How many of you have ever heard of a dinosaur named Velociraptor? Uh, I figured you might, thanks to Mr. Spielberg. <laughs> All of the animals go to the bathroom, so if it happens, it's okay. Please don't say, ew, because you'll make him very scared, and he'll feel embarrassed. But if you don't read now, will you read later? No. No way. Uh-uh. Reading is a habit. It's a good habit. And if you read, you will not only get smart, but your vocabulary. You know what vocabulary means? Your words. At 5 p.m., Star Trek with popcorn. The dog and the cat smelled it. They crashed in the dog door and ate my popcorn. Then the man chained them up. About time I'd... That's the end. <laughs> Chelsea Miller wrote a very good story, and I'm going to read it to you, and then her, her parents will get to take her prizes home to her today. Let's put that down there. This is called, this also has computer stuff in it, Zippy's Big Adventure. Little Zippy ran to his house. Little Zippy caught a mouse. Little Zippy laughed all day. She got eaten. Ouch! That must have hurt. <laughs> I didn't hug my dad. Oh my. It says, then my uncle went inside the ocean. The shark ate my uncle. Oh no! My sister got bit. She was right near the edge. My baby got eaten. My sister is alive. I told her that at least you did not die. <laughs> I took a shot at that shark. Then I got his blood. My grandma got eaten, too. Do all of my family get eaten? The shark ate them. It's called the magic pond. Once upon a time, there was a little pond that nobody knew was magical until a little girl was walking her dog and got thirsty and drank from the little pond. All of a sudden, the dog turned into a frog. My dog is sweet. My dog had babies. My dog runs fast. My dog is nice. I love him. The end. <laughs> and even our little citizens of Los Angeles County signed this 31st day of August by Supervisory Bomb Brathway for Thank you guys so much. We really appreciate it. We also have some special presentations from the supervisor's office, and these are certificates of, of recognition for some of our good readers. These are not all our good readers. We have many, many, many good readers here.
You're still making your legs. You can still sing bingo. Are you going to sing from the table? Okay, next one. 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 Kids to pinch, ah, ha, 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 ha. and the cat laughed. <laughs> Come on, laugh like the cat. Say, <laughs> I've eaten all the fried chicken and all the French fries and 500 little fried donut cakes. Welcome to the library. Let's go see a show. Clackety-clack, 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 clackety-clackety-clackety. They gathered at the start line and set the race course. The fox was going to be the judge because he had the sharpest eyes. And he said, ready, set, go. <gasps> Almost before he said go, off hopped the hare. Bop, 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 bop. <gasps> Is he that way? Is he that way? The tortoise was nowhere behind him. I think I'll just wait a little while to see if the tortoise shows up. Oh, I'm a little bit tired. Oh. There's a nice soft patch of green grass over there with a twirl and freeze and a swirl and freeze. Let us bid each other. Munch, 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 munch. And she licked her lips. 
And when her tummy was all full, do you know what she did? She ate some more. Ready? Munch, 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 munch. Tell them what you said. Bubbles. Who likes bubbles? All right, if you like bubbles, jump up on your feet. Now, let me ask you, do any of you love to give great big frights to your friends sometimes? Yeah. All right, because I love to get great big frights. So on the count of three, will you all say in your loudest, loudest voices, boo. Are you ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Everyone listen, it's coming. I had an idea of a song where the wheels go round and round, the doors go open and shut. Let me see the doors go open and shut. That's right, open and shut. And the engine goes vroom, vroom, vroom. It's about a bus. See how they run. They all ran after the farmer's wife. She cut off their tails with a carving knife. Have you ever seen such a sight in your life? As let's count them. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six blind mice. <laughs> They get up very early in the morning and they do a crazy thing. They do a very, very crazy thing. Do so, a crazy dance? No, not a dance. I wish they did a dance. But they, even if it is very, very cold, like somewhere in Alaska and Michigan, it is below freezing point. There's ice all over. They put on their swimming suits and they jump into the water. Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? 
should all acquaintance be forgot and days of old exile. You'll quack this year? How many times? Five times every minute? Five, five times every minute? Eleven times every hour? Okay, now we'll make him do that every time on Saturday he comes. He has to stand here and crack in front of everyone, okay? Let me introduce you to 12 animals. Right. Second is ox. Tiger. Rabbit. Dragon. Snake. One winner of the middle, middle ones, one, and then one winner of the older one. <laughs> Hello, kitties. This is the old friend Igor. 